Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back. Yes, a guy Emmanuel Gijo, and you know, thank you for checking out this video on the Linux UI. So, if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, I want to say thank you. But if you are a returning subscriber or viewer, I also want to say thank you. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Linux UI or the Linux user interface. If I mention UI, now that I'm talking of the user interface. So, each time I use the word UI, please just know that I'm talking of user interface. So, today we're going to talk about the Linux Linux user interface right so each time you will log in into your Linux server to practice Linux this is the interface that you're going to see basically you're going to see this text and you're going to see a dark screen so what is this interface right what is this dark screen and most importantly what is this text in this video I'm going to explain that so without taking much of your time let's get started so first thing first what is the meaning of a user interface or what is the meaning of a Linux uh, user interface right so the linux user interface is how you interact with the linux operating system right it's how you communicate with the linux operating system so there are two types of linux interface uh the first one is what they call a graphical user interface right that's the first one and with a graphical user interface uh everything is visual just like in windows or mac os for example uh i have a mac computer and if i want to interact with my operating system this is the interface that i'm going to use as you can see it's beautiful it has colors it has pictures you know it has it it has icons i can click on right for example if i want to see all my applications i can click here and you know it will take me right here i can go to finder i will see you know this organized well structured folder and i can go into applications i can go to desktop i can go to documents if i download something and i want to see i can go to download right here if i want to log out i'll click on the apple icon and i'll click on log out right here so as you can see this is what they call a graphical user interface in a graphical user interface you would have windows icons buttons and you have a mouse to be clicking around right and linux also has this type of user interface for example if you install ubuntu on your desktop you can install a graphical user interface right now apart from having a graphical user interface right Linux also has something called the command line interface remember I said when you're dealing with Linux there are two types of interface one is the graphical user interface and the second one is what they call the command line interface and the command line interface is a text based type of interface so instead of clicking around and using your mouse and going around and you're seeing beautiful colors and all the rest in the command line interface you use command so basically if you want to do something you would write a command and Linux will execute that command right as you can see it's just a black screen with some text right here now don't worry we're gonna talk about what this text is but I want you to know that what you're seeing right now is a command line interface now when you become an engineer whether you're a cyber security engineer DevOps engineer system cloud engineer and you get your first job there's a probability that you may hear some of your co-workers refer to this here as a CLI so if they are talking about a CLI know that they are talking about what they're talking about the command line interface right now the command line interface uses something called a terminal what you're seeing right here is a terminal and a terminal is simply a black screen now listen I'm going to give you the book definition of what the terminal is but what I want you to know right now is that a terminal is simply a black black screen where you type instructions right and that's what we are looking at right now for example i can type lx for example i will hit enter nothing is going to show i can type for example date and you can see it's going to return the the date and if i want to clear everything i can type clear and it's going to clear everything so that is how you know a command line interface works right now i know you'll be asking yourself this question but emmanuel why is it that linux has two interfaces now the first thing i want you to know is that linux was developed for advanced users right linux was developed for engineers to use not you know not the ordinary person right and they developed this command line interface because the command line interface is way powerful than a graphical user interface and i'm going to show you how powerful the command line interface can be but you know later on in the development some extremely smart guys said 
hey this command line interface is kind of challenging for some people especially people who are transitioning from windows and mac os into uh, linux so they decided to develop what they call a graphical user interface for linux but i want you to know that all the big companies out there they use a command line interface graphical user interface in linux are used in personal computers all those massive data centers they are using command line interface to manage them right and this is what they call a command line interface this whole thing right here is what they call a terminal and this is the only text that you will see when you log in into your server so what is a terminal right i said what you're seeing right here is a terminal so what is a terminal a terminal is a tool or a program that lets you interact with a computer by typing text commands instead of clicking on things for example here on a graphical user interface if i want to go to applications right i'll have to click on finder then i'll have to click on application now in a command line interface that uses a terminal you don't click you type commands right so for example if i want to know the date i'll have to type the command date right but in the graphical user interface it's not like that if i want to know the date i'm going to see you know the date right here but in linux you will have to type a command in order to see the date so this is how you know a terminal looks like when you log into linux or when you log into your linux server so this is what you're going to see basically let me clear my screen so basically what you're going to see would be a dark screen or a white screen it depends on you and some text so the question now is what is this text don't worry i'm going to explain to you what this text is so this text right here is what we call the share prompt in linux now the question is what is a share prompt right now a share prompt in linux is the text or symbol display in a terminal window that indicates the system is ready to receive a command so when you see this right here you have to know that your linux system is ready to receive a command and all of this is what they call a share prompt now let me explain this share prompt right here right here what you're looking at right here is the user so this user right here is ubuntu so i'm currently logged into this server with a user called ubuntu for example if i go to my mac and i click on this icon right here i click on systems settings you're gonna see that right now i'm logged into my mac as emmanuel Jijo, and this is my email right here and these are all the devices that are connected to this mac right and if i still click on this icon you will see that i can log out as a manual and log in back as another user same thing with linux and linux i'm currently logged in as ubuntu and i can also ask linux to tell me what user am i using right for example i can say who who am i and i hit enter and it's going to say i'm ubuntu if i was logging as another user and i put who am i it's going to return the username of that user so for now when i run the command who am i it says i'm ubuntu so the next thing you have right here is something that looks like an ip address this is what they call a host name right this is the host name and the host name here is the name of the computer and you can also run a command and linux will tell you exactly what your host name is and that command is simply host name now don't worry about what commands are i'll make an entire video explaining linux command so when i run the command host name you will see that linux returns the host name of the computer and when i run the command who am i linux returns a response by saying i am ubuntu it's like asking someone what is your name so what i'm basically doing with this command is i'm asking the computer what is your name i'm asking my linux operating system what is your name and the linux operating system is responding back to me by saying i am ubuntu right my name right now is ubuntu and i'm asking you know what is the host name what is the name of the computer and the operating system is returning a response to me you know with this right here so this right here is the username and this right here is the host name and the host name is the name of the computer so i'm currently logged into this computer as ubuntu or using the username ubuntu right now right here we have something right here and this is what they call the current 
working directory right and this sign right here let me make it bigger so you can see and this little sign right here right represents what they call the user's home directory now don't worry i'm going to talk about what you know directories are but i want you to know that this right here represents the user home directory right here this is the user home directory now in front of this you're going to see a dollar sign right this dollar sign simply indicate that the user that's currently logged into this server that's ubuntu is a regular user so whenever you see a dollar sign right in front of a shell prompt know that the user is a regular user now but when you see a pound sign know that that user is root i know you're asking yourself Emmanuel, what are you talking about what pound sign are you talking about so for example if i change users if i do a sudo so and i hit enter you're gonna see that my user now is root it means i'm now logged into the computer or the user that i'm currently using is root and you're going to notice that this sign right here has changed into a pound sign it's no more a dollar sign it's not a pound sign and whenever you see a pound sign it means that the user that's currently logged into this computer right here is root and root is the most powerful user in linux don't worry we're going to talk about what users are right but if you see a dollar sign right here know that this means a regular user only root has this pound sign for example let's say the user was john john will still have the dollar sign if the user was mary mary will still have the dollar sign if the user was paul paul will still have the dollar sign but immediately the user changes to root the dollar sign will change to a pound sign only root has a pound sign so whenever you see a pound sign know that the user is root so i'm going to switch back to ubuntu so i'm going to do su dash ubuntu i'm going to hit enter sorry i didn't run that correctly and i'm going to hit enter so as you can see i'm back ubuntu and you can, as you can see the dollar sign is back right so let's take this one more time so you understand exactly what we're seeing this is what they call the linux terminal and the terminal is simply a tool or a program that allows you to interact with the linux operating system by running commands and this right here is what they call a share prompt and a share prompt is simply what indicates that your linux operating system is ready to start receiving commands and when you give those commands linux will execute those commands and the first thing you see here is what they call the user the user that's currently logged into this server and in our case it is ubuntu and what you have next is what they call the host name the host name is the name of the computer and what you have here is what they call the current directory and this small sign right here is what they call the user home directory and this is what they call the prompt sign and the dollar sign means that it's a regular user and if you switch to root it's going to change to a pound sign and only root has a pound sign don't worry we're going to talk about what users are and you will know the difference between a regular user and a user like root so don't worry about it so this share prompt right here is very very important the first thing is that whenever you see this share prompt know that your linux server is ready to accept commands it means i can start running commands like lx i can do pwd right i can do cd right even though there's nothing to cd into i can do for example a uh, man you can run the man command command so this is actually a command but it says what manual page do you want so i can run commands like man man right and it's going to provide me you know with some information right now as you can see our share prompt is gone so there are times you may be working with linux and your share prompt right here will go so all you need to do is hit ctrl z and you will get your share prompt back like this right so i can clear my screen clear is also a command to clear everything that's on your screen so i can clear enter and it will take me back here so guys that is the linux user interface and this is the interface that we're going to be using right this remember that this is what they call a share prompt this is the current user that's logged into the server this is the name of the server and this is our present or our current uh home directory this is our user's home directory right right here and right here this is a 
special folder that you know contain things like users personal file settings and you know a bunch of data are stored here don't worry when we start exploring the file system in linux we're going to understand this you know better right so guys that is all i wanted you to know about the linux user interface please if you do have any question please do leave a comment below and i'll be more than happy to answer you see you in my next video bye